Tango is actually an entire art form. It's a culture, it's not just a dance. Flamenco it has many cultural influences. Mm -hmm. There's the Indian culture, the movement of our hands. Mm -hmm. There's the music from different countries that we adapted mm -hmm. into it. Very important is also the footwork and the dancing. You'll see a lot of uh, stamping our feet, mm -hmm. um, making different sounds. We try to create different rhythms. We also do hand clapping, that's very important. There's one person that's always designated to be a palmero, and that's a person that just sits and claps to the beat, and they always keep in time with their foot the whole time, and that's to help the, the dancer hear the rhythm keep in time. The morning classes, dancing the bulerias, is the one that's usually improvised, but then you'll see it in something called a huelga. A huelga is kind of like a gathering of a, a bunch of people who listen, or who hear flamenco, who know about it, uh, the music, you'll have a guitar, guitarist, you'll have a singer, and you'll have a dancer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes three, four, depending on how many dancers it is. And uh, bulerias, they'll get together and one person will do a little something to the rhythm, they'll exit, and then another person will come in and do their own thing to, uh, mm -hmm. to the rhythm. It's similar to a battle almost. Yeah. And it's very improvised as long as they stay in time. The morning classes have a set uh, music for it. Mm -hmm. They do a lot of intricate footwork in the dance. They've learned movement of their arms, which is called braceos. They've learned the movement of their hands, which is flores. Mm -hmm. They've learned to count in a 12 count rhythm. And they've learned something called contratiempo, which has to do with the hand clapping, mm -hmm. the palmas. So there's clapping on the beat, there's clapping off the beat. And they learn to clap both ways, on the beat and off the beat. Contratiempo means counter rhythm, and it's one of the most difficult things to learn in flamenco. But it's something that um, it just takes a lot of practice, mm -hmm. and that's what they've been doing, practicing and practicing. I stress to them, they have to have a certain style. There's a look, there's a attitude about the dance or about your character that needs to be expressed in flamenco. It's not just step after step. Mm -hmm. You have to put your own personality into the dance. And that's what they're working on now. They have the steps, they have the sequence, and now they're working on their character, their personality, the passion that they need to express mm -hmm. in the dance. Mm -hmm.